good day, good evening chocolate lover, welcome to Chocolate TV, this is episode 281 and today I thought we take 100% Belgian chocolate, Belgian harvest, Belgian 100% chocolate, Belgian dark chocolate, 72% cocoa, and ingredients, cocoa mass, sugar, low fat cocoa powder emulsifier, soy lecithin, fairly good, I don't know why they have to have low fat cocoa powder. Actually, they say nothing about cocoa butter in this one. No, they don't. There's no fat in this one. Unless they mean that the cocoa mass is actually the fat and the cocoa. So let's open this one up. Mel made in Belgium. Belgian chocolate. Well, I don't know if the Belgians actually grow cocoa, but it's made in Belgium. That's. And if we look at the color, we can see a very bright, uh, blackish, dark brown color. Um, nice shine to it. Doesn't say it has any waxes on it, but you never know. So, uh, nice, crystal clear fine grain cr crystal structure. Was a good crack, right? Yes. Let's smell it. Dry wood, dry paper, uh, some cinnamon, also some red berries and some green berries. This is a kind of a red currant mixed with gooseberry. That kind of acidity and that kind of sweetness as well. And we're talking the mature kinds of gooseberry and, and the mature kinds of red currant. They are sour, and, but still nice. But very dry, uh, very dry scent as well. But there's red and green berries with some cinnamon and some wood, very dry, almost papery. In the dryness dryness okay uh, let's try it on the path in the mouth on the tongue starts off slight bitterness lots of cocoa and we're talking about the dark cocoa feel and flavor hints of black tea more roasted nuts than than gooseberry but there's slightly a, a slight acid feel as well comes and goes it's beneath the more extravagant nut, cocoa, dry wood, spicy flavor that this chocolate has. Very dry. Dries out your tongue, dries out your mouth. This kind of a tannic feel on your teeth. Lots of roasted nuts, lots of chocolate, black tea. I'm, I would not say coffee, but maybe, maybe. A hint in that case. But it's bitter. The predominant flavor is bitter. And some people like that, some people don't. I like that, but it's not. It's kind of a sandy bitterness that lingers and are not that heavenly pleasant so i'd say if i'm gonna grade this one then i'm gonna grade this one i'm gonna grade it six out of ten that's not bad because this one cost me a dollar yeah good qpr on that chocolate belgian harvest who knew Okay, um, that's it for episode uh, 281, and I'll be back next Monday, and I hope you have a very pleasant week, and a good weekend.